and welcome! My name is Luigi from Bluestacks and today we'll take a look on a few awesome games to play on Bluestacks. New games are always coming and going, but just a few are able to bring something new to the table and make them worthwhile playing. From MMORGS to unique gacha games and great options to play if you don't have a lot of time, here's my top 5 list of games to enjoy in the month of July. And just remember that this is my opinion, and it might be very different from yours. But nevertheless, I think you won't be disappointed with the games I'm about to present. So without any further ado, let's jump right in! So let's start the video with King's Raid. Don't get me wrong. Even though this game is in the 5th place, it's still a really really good one. There are so many things to do, from dungeons, world boss, raiding, pvp, not to mention the campaign is really interesting and fun, and can take many hours to complete. But let's cut to the chase and talk about the most important thing. What's the point of having a hero collector game if there are no awesome heroes to collect? And let me tell you, King's Raid is no short of that. There are so many heroes with so many awesome designs that it's really hard to pick the ones you want to build a team. King of Avalon takes the 4th spot in our list. From all the MMORTS, she is by far the most complex one. At first glance, King of Avalon may seem like a standard conquest game, but in no time you'll be overwhelmed with all the things you can do. In fact, there are so many things to do here that's almost impossible to talk about it in just one video. From building structures, to gathering resources, exploring dungeons with heroes, crafting gear, exploring the world, training your own dragons, well, you name it. Not to mention, there's a whole PvP community for this game, which is extremely competitive and engaging. With growing your empire, recruiting an army, waging war against your foes, and controlling a freaking dragon sounds like fun? Well, in that case, I think you should take a look on this game. We all been there, wishing we had more time to play our favorite mobile game. But due to all the obligations of everyday life, it's very hard to find the time to do so. And after a long day of work, all we want to do is just sit down, relax, and don't worry about anything else. Luckily, that's where AFK Arena comes into play. As its name suggests, the game is an RPG focused on automatic gameplay. This means you don't need to constantly keep track of what's going on in the game to progress. In fact, having to wait between advancing the story or taking part in other challenges are pretty much essential. If you want to spend hours and hours playing a single game, AFK Arena might not be the best solution. But, on the other hand, if you want to enjoy a well-developed gacha game with RPG mechanics by the end of a long day of work, well, in that case, I believe AFK Arena might be the best game for you. You can play when you can without making a huge commitment or having that feeling of being left behind. And of course, I have to mention, the game is a lot of fun with a lot of things to do from PvE to PvP. Well, putting this one on second place was really tough for me, but here it is. Raid Shadow Legends is the most unique gacha game I've ever played. Different from all those RPG anime gacha games filled with over-the-top characters, Raid Shadow Legends takes a different approach. The game is set up in a medieval fantasy world filled with fantasy creatures and classic RPG characters, like elves, orcs, undeads, demons, and so on. And honestly, it really makes you feel like you are playing a mobile Dungeons and Dragons game. And that's awesome. I only wish the game had a little more diversity among all the champions you can collect. Since most heroes are variant of one another, luckily, they will add more interesting and diverse creature design in the future. And that's the only reason why Great Shadow Legends takes the second place. And the great champion of this top 5 list is Rise of Civilization. It's a massive multiplayer online real-time strategy game. Try to say that fast. And even though this type of game is not really something new, the level of polish is simply unreal. I've covered up this game quite a while back, and still it doesn't cease to impress me. 
from the art style to the gameplay itself and all the social interactions. And let me tell you, this game is really, really addictive. Rise of Civilization has 8 civilizations and 28 commanders. Yep, you heard that right. And each one has a different role and specialization. So I can only imagine how many strategies you can build. And even though you can definitely speed up things throwing in some cash, the game doesn't require you to do so. And yes, there's a lot of things that are time-gated. But since there are so many things to do, it doesn't really matter that much. Making you wish you had to wait a little longer to give you time to manage everything. And that's the secret of the game. Managing. From training troops to gathering resources and constructing your base. What really makes a difference is creating a plan and executing it. You must have focus on where you want to go, but at the same time have flexibility to adapt to every situation, completing as many challenges and objectives on the way. Making this list was quite hard, since there are so many awesome games I haven't mentioned. But hey, if you are not really sure of what game you should play, I believe this is a great starting point. All the games I mentioned will provide you with many hours of fun, and most important, without having to spend a single dime. And of course, if you want to experience them on the big screen with a keyboard and mouse and have access to a lot of awesome features, make sure to play it on Bluestacks. But that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time, bye bye!